Welcome to the Geodata Basic Training. This training will cover how to get started using the web map viewers available on our website. Return to the Geodata homepage and click on Online Maps to access the web map viewers. Each web map viewer contains data layers for a specific purpose. The property map has the fewest layers and is meant as a property lookup map, while the Show Me Everything map contains all of the data layers that we have available online. It may take a little longer to load depending on your internet connection. Before we open the maps, we should cover a couple of terms. For the purposes of this training, layer refers to a set of spatial data that can be displayed in the map. A feature is a unique point, line, or polygon within the layer and represents something in the real world. It may represent something physically on the ground, like wetlands and roads, or it could be a boundary used for other purposes, like voter precincts and zoning. Each feature has unique attributes, which contain information about the feature. For example, wetlands is a layer containing polygon features with many attributes, including wetland ratings and verified dates. No layer represents the real world with 100% accuracy. You can see the wetland in the aerial image seems to be larger than what is mapped in the wetland layer. Many layers are being improved as we receive better information, but they are not survey accurate and should be used as screening tools only. Now we are going to open the property map. All the web maps have the same interface layout and tools. The left panel, where the layers list and results are shown. The map panel, where the data layers are displayed. Additional tools and information are displayed on the bottom edge of the map panel. The toolbar panel, which contains tools sorted by function on separate tabs. And the top panel, which lists the name of the map and holds the global search bar. The global search accesses the site addresses and parcel numbers from the assessor's parcel data, as well as the TCOM 911 address points and streets. Any matching features are displayed in the search results by layer. Click on the layer to expand the results and then on the individual feature to zoom to it in the map. Information about the individual feature is displayed in the details tab. In this case, we see the parcel attributes entered by the assessor's office. Some layers include links to additional information. Each parcel has links to its Geodata parcel information page, the assessor's summary page, and the treasurer's property account summary. Once you have found your area, you can navigate around the map using your mouse. Click and hold to pan, or use the roller ball to zoom in and out. Additional zoom in out buttons are available in the map canvas and on the home toolbar. The home toolbar zoom tools allow you to draw a box around the area you want to zoom to or from. There are also buttons to zoom to the full county, to the previous view, handy if you zoom in or out too far, and the next view. The default base map includes a few basic features like roads and water bodies, but you have other options. Recent aerial imagery, older aerial imagery, or topographic relief hillshades. Choose any of these options through the base maps button on the map and layers toolbar or on the map canvas. The aerials all and hillshades options have slider bars that allow you to select aerial imagery or hillshade from other years. The layers list is where the available layers can be turned on and off. Some layers are scale dependent, meaning that you must zoom in to a smaller map extent for them to become visible in the map. This includes any layers that are gray in the list, including parcels. The property map has the fewest layers available and is focused on locating a property. We can quickly access other Geodata map viewers through the view in a different map button on the map panel. This will open a new tab in your browser with the map viewer you selected at the same map location displayed in the property map. You may need to disable your pop-up blocker if the new map doesn't open. 
The Show Me Everything map has many layers available to view. Quickly locate the layer you are interested in by typing all or part of the layer name into the Filter Layers box at the top of the layers list. Any matching layer name will be listed in the filtered results. Adjust the transparency of the layers with the transparency slider at the top of the layers list next to more data. This adjusts the transparency on all layers. Click the legend button next to a layer to expand its legend. Access additional layer actions by clicking the little arrow next to the layer name. From here, you can customize the layer symbology, turn labels on or off, or customize the layer's labels. The soils layer is a great example where you may want to change which attribute field is used to label the features if you or your map's audience don't know what the soil codes mean. Customize labels allows you to change the label field, text color, and font size of the labels. Click Apply to see the changes applied and Done when you are satisfied with your changes to return to the layer actions. View source and description information for the layer by clicking View Metadata. The amount of information we have available varies for each layer. Any recently updated layer will include a last updated date in the description. The toolbar panel contains tools to interact with the data layers and to add custom elements to the map panel. The tools are organized by function on each of the toolbar tabs. The Home tab contains navigation tools, as we covered earlier, as well as tools to help you share the maps with others, which we will come back to. The Find tab provides alternative options for finding parcels. Find by parcel numbers requires you to enter one or more parcel numbers in the provided text box. The parcels you enter are then selected and displayed in the map panel. You can also find parcels by site address and by township and section. It is important to note that there is a 1000 feature limit for any selection. So some parcels may be missing if the section contains more than 1,000 parcels. Once you have parcels selected by using the Find Tools or any other method, you can use the Print Mailing Labels tool to create a pre-formatted PDF of mailing labels. Simply select your format for site or owner address, then click OK. Duplicate addresses are automatically removed so you don't have to worry about sending more than one mailing to a single address. In this example, all three parcels are owned by Thurston County, but only one mailing label is created. Identify tools are used to select features to show their attributes in a list or in a table. Features must be visible in the map to be identified. If you can't see the parcels, they won't be selected even if they are turned on. The Point Identify tool acts just like your mouse without a tool activated. It identifies features where you click on the map. Multipoint allows you to place multiple points on the map to identify. Double click on the last point to create the selection. Line and freehand identify tools. Select all features that touch the line. Rectangle and polygon identify tools. Select all features that touch the boundary, as well as the features that fall inside of the drawn shape. Double-click to complete the selections. Additional options expand in the toolbar when you activate any of the Identify tools. The Measure tools create graphic drawings on the map panel with calculated measurements. These drawings are estimates only and are not survey accurate. Activate the distance then click on the map where you want to start the measurement. Click again to create a segment or double click to complete the line. Each segment will be given a measurement as well as the total distance. You can set the units before you make your drawing or you can change it once you are finished. The area tool works in the same way 
but gives measurements for the perimeter and the area of the polygon. Use the Edit tool to adjust the corners of your drawings. Erase to remove selected drawings or Clear to remove all graphic elements from the map. The Draw tools create graphic drawings on the map, like the Measure tools, but without any measurements and with more options on how the drawings appear on the map. Simply activate the type of element you would like to add, then click on the Map panel. Click once for points. Click for each vertex for lines and polygons. Click and drag for freehand lines and shapes, circles, ellipses, and rectangles. And click and enter your labels for text. Adjust the look of the drawings or text in the styles, either before you put them on the map or after by clicking on Edit. Click on the drawing you want to change, then Styles. Text can be customized with color, size, and font style. You can change the fill and line color of drawings and the outline style. Once you have your map panel perfected, you can share it. In the Home tab, click on Share, and then choose how you want to share it. This will provide a link to the map with all the layers you have on, and it will open to the same map location but any graphic elements, drawings, and measurements will not be visible. If you want to share your drawings and measurements, you should print the map instead. On the Home tab, click Print to create a digital copy of your map. Select the layout, the file type you prefer, and enter a title. Then Print. The final map will open in a new browser tab and can be downloaded from there. Your title, notes, and any measurements or drawings will be included on the map. Any layers that are turned on will be in the legend, whether they are present in the map extent or not. The Map and Layers tab is another location to access the layers list in case you accidentally close it. You can also change your base map this is the only location to change the base map if you are using a mobile device. And access the preloaded bookmarks. The Crime tab provides tools to query the county's crime data. The crime points are mapped to the 100 block, not the specific location of the crime, and include incidents that were responded to by the Thurston County Sheriff's Department. Incidents that were not responded to or were covered by another agency are not included in the crime data. You can filter by call or report number, by type, or by date and time. The date and time filters have a list to select from, or you can create a custom filter with specific days and times. Click on any point to see additional details. Additional help resources can be found on our help website by clicking on Help on the Home tab. The help website is searchable and includes step-by-step -step instructions with printouts for many of the topics covered in this training and more. You can also email the Geodata Center staff directly from the web map viewers. Be sure to enter your email address correctly so we can get back to you. Thank you for watching our basic training video. Please do not hesitate to contact us with additional questions about our web map viewers or the other custom services we provide.